welcome back to my channel. This week I thought it'd be fun to do an update on my fall quarterly goals. The end of the year is rapidly approaching. I cannot believe that Christmas is already like next week. Where is the time gone? But yeah, I wanted to do a update with you guys on where I'm at with my quarterly goals this week. And then after the new year, I'd like to do my new goals. So I'm working on getting those together for you guys. But yeah, I'm going to link the quarterly goals video up here for you guys. So that way, if you haven't seen that, you can go watch that first. Okay, so my writing goal was to try and get something done. I had some like ideas floating around in my brain and I wanted to try and like get them on paper. I decided not to do NaNoWriMo because I just... It's never worked for me. The month thing constraint just never works. So I didn't want to like put myself under that like constraint to do it. Um, I just kind of want to write when I have the time to write and hope that it's enough to get something eventually. Um, but I haven't written anything at all, which it's kind of depressing to me because I was in such a groove for a while and now it's just like nothing. Um, but I'm hoping to get back into it. I've gotten to that point where I'm like, I really miss it. Like I want, like I have all these things like floating around in my head. And so I feel like I'm at a good point where I have things floating around in my head. So I have a couple ideas that I'd like to throw around. So hopefully in my next goals, I'll have something ready to go. Maybe like a word count that I want to meet for that goal for that, for that quarter. And then hopefully it'll turn out better than this quarter did. My Goodreads goal. For this year I wanted to read 52 books, so a book a week pretty much, because there's 52 weeks in a year. And I surpassed that and I was like, oh, well, maybe I can get to 100. Um, I am definitely not near 100. I am at 70 right now. And I don't think I'm gonna get much further than that. I've been reading the last book in the Hush Hush series for a few weeks now, just kind of off and on. Um, I always have that problem when I get to like the final book in a series, I just kind of like stall. I think it's just because I don't want it to end so like I haven't read the last book in the Dexter series I haven't read the last book in the fifth wave series like the clockwork series I'm still reading the clockwork princess like it's always the last book I don't know what it is about the last book in a series but I never want to read it it's terrible I know so I'm trying to get through it that's that's probably gonna be one of my new quarterly goals finish all the series that I'm not done with but yeah so right now I'm at 70 I'll probably be at 71 before the year's over and then I can make my new goal for next year so if you've been keeping up with some of my videos you will know that we are leaving soon after the new year after baby is born um, and one of my goals was to start packing and organizing um, we are having movers come to move and pack everything for us but I need to start getting things organized so that way when it comes when they come it's not like a free-for-all let's just shove everything in this place into boxes um so I have actually started organizing and kind of pre-packing um trying to get all my clothes in one spot trying to get movies in one spot dvds in one spot and just like like things in one spot so when they do come to pack they're packing like things in one thing and then when we get to where we're going it'll all kind of be organized um, one of my things I need to do in the next coming weeks is start getting these shelves deconstructed and getting all the books ready to be put somewhere. All my notebooks that I have on another shelf need to be ready to be packed to put somewhere. So that's kind of my goal for myself for the next couple weeks. But I have started doing it. I have started organizing, packing, that sort of thing. So this goal I will actually like to check off my list because I think I've actually been doing most of this goal. One of my other goals was cleaning and staying on top of like keeping things like neat. And I think for the most part I've been pretty good about that. I feel like a lot of the like pregnancy nesting has helped with that with like keeping things clean and organized and stuff around the house. So that's been going pretty well. Just my kind of like instinct like if something's dirty or if something needs to be done like I have to do it now like it needs to get done and be done. So yeah, that's been going really well, so I'd like to check that one off my list also. Another goal was to start writing more on my blog, which I did revamp kind of the layout of my blog, but I haven't written anything in it still. It's been probably, probably about nine months since I've written anything on there. Um, I have been having some ideas about some pregnancy blogs that I would like to write. Um, just from like my experience and that kind of thing, but I've kind of been like taking notes and holding out until I like finish getting through this experience. So those will probably be coming. So if you're interested in that, you should check out my blog. The link's always down below. But yeah, 
it will get there. So that's kind of like a half check. One of my other goals was to stop grocery shopping with so much excess because I knew it was going to get to that point to where we're leaving soon and we have so much extra food that we need to eat. Um, and I will say being pregnant has not helped with this goal because I go to the grocery store with the intent to get like one thing and I end up seeing like all these other things and I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. Like, I should get that. So, the pantry's kind of thinning out, but also not really because I buy new things that I'm just craving at the time. So, I'm going to give myself a half check on this because... It's thinned out a little, but I haven't been the best at it, so I'll admit that. But yeah, those are pretty much all the fall goals that I had for myself that I wanted to update you guys on. So after the new year, I'm going to start compiling my new goals that I want for the next quarter. And I think I might end up doing it like goals for the first half of the year, just because there's going to be so much going on that like first like January to like spring. I just I feel like I'm not gonna get a whole lot done so I think I might do like half a year goals and leave it at that but yeah I'm gonna work on those and I'll get back to you guys um, I'd love to know some of the goals you guys have for 2018 I'm just ready for it to be 2018 there's a lot gonna be happening this year and I'm so excited for all of it um, I can't believe Christmas is in like a week like where has the time gone like these last couple like weeks months have just flown by and I knew they would because it was like my last few weeks working and it's like the last couple months that baby's in my belly and so time is just flying by and soon we're gonna be she's gonna be here and we're gonna be packing and we're gonna be going home so it's just a lot of stuff is starting to like it's all coming at once so it's like getting really exciting and like slightly terrifying all at the same time but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my quarterly goals updates. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see other videos, please subscribe because I put out new videos every Tuesday. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing week. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!